going to tell you the story of what really happened yesterday. T, listen to me. Just grab my hand. Well, what's happening? You see, T was following my advice. She was trying to be like me when it happened. It's all my fault. I'm so sorry. And I know I can never work at the dumping ground again after what's happened. <laughs> The week had started out fine. Although, as usual, Cam wasn't happy. Oh, I'm not saying it's a bad book, Tracy. I just think that trying to sell copies to the kids is a bad idea. No, it's not. This book is like a survival guide for that place. It's bound to be a bestseller. Let's hope you're right, because we've still got thousands of these at home, which you promised to shift weeks ago. Can I go to work now, please? Because what's more important, Cam? Shifting a few books or helping change the life of kids for the better. <laughs> Make good. I will. Bye. Harry, turn this off. Let's watch Top Man movies instead. No, stop! Let him watch it, Liam. Besides, when Gina catches you watching horror movies, she'll confiscate them like that. She's right. We should get our own TV and DVD player. <laughs> Good luck affording that. Ah, uh, no, I, I hope you're not thinking of making this permanent home. What's the matter, Trace, some Monday morning blues? Well, I have got something to cheer you up. I thought you needed to take a little bit more responsibility, so I'd like to write up the children's files. Yellow is the history and blue are the monitoring. Yes, I know what they are, but why would I want to write these? These are just things to use to spawn the kids. Oh, no, it's to make sure that they're happy, you know, no problems. Oh, like the problem with someone writing every time they break something or get into a fight. Listen, Gina, I appreciate the gesture, but we both know this just isn't my thing. Reporting on the kids, it's worse than, I don't know, enforcing the cleaning rota. I'm not enforcing the cleaning rota. House meeting, guys, in the kitchen. Oh, now. It's that easy. Unless we are contestants. As Gina says, let's think of the washing up like it's a game. Or tidying your room as a challenge. That way it doesn't have to be boring, it can be fun. Don't I live in a pigsty? It just doesn't feel like tight to my room today, Tracy. Well, we all have to do things we don't feel like doing, even Jeff. Mm. I tell you what, why don't you both tidy your room and I'll put a gold star in both of your files. Then everyone will know what a big, big help you've been today. Can me and T have gold stars too? <laughs> <laughs> That's enough! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Yes, Johnny, you can have gold stars. That is the attitude I like to see. Ooh. What can we have? New TV set? And uh, 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 lots of comics? No. If gold stars are good enough for Johnny, then they're good enough for everyone. Crazy! Coming! We better get a move on, you lot. If you hadn't said anything, we could have had something better than stupid gold stars. Yeah, what do you want baby stars for? Just do, all right? OK, well, you can have all my stars if you do all my chores. Oh, me too. Okay. Mine too. No! Get lost, you lot. We're not stupid, all right? Go on, tell him, Johnny. We'll be more than happy to help. Think of all the stars we'll get. They're using us. I don't want to do their jobs. Tough, because you're going to, OK? I said OK. Integrated TV and DVD player. Large screen, only £199. And 99 pence. Only. I was born right in the doorway. 
I went out in the rain, suddenly everything changed. They're spreading blankets on the beach. Yours is the first face that I saw. I think I was blind before I met you. And I don't know where I am, I don't know where I've been, but I know where I want to go. And so I thought I'd let you know. So you're upset because T and Johnny help? Hmm? I'm positive Johnny's making T do jobs she doesn't want to do. It's like he has some weird, powerful hold over her. That's what being a big brother is. Come on, the tears are good kids. To be honest, I wish mine were like that. So you're not going to do anything or say anything? Oh, I can just hear myself now going, you two, stop helping and being so well-behaved, you polite kids, you. Go on, Tracy. Frank, I already told you, I've got nothing to sell. All my stuff's junk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Carmen's old bean bags. Who's going to buy them? Well, we haven't got anything else. We haven't. But I know someone who has. You're right, Frank. Oh, Ray, you want a hug, yeah? Oh, oh that's nice. <laughs> Uh, Frank, um, I've, I've got to get on a bit now, yeah? All right, darling. So, I climbed the tallest tree in the dumping ground to prove I wasn't scared of anything. We even ate a Ridley worm. Mm. <laughs> After that, Justin Littlewood, oh, it was a total pain, said that I could have my old bedroom back, so I won. <laughs> That's a brilliant story, Tracy. Well, that and plenty more in my book, which is still for sale. Anyone? What? Well, it's just me, Carmen and Lily. We've all done our jobs today, especially me. So we was wondering if we could have your book, like, for free? <laughs> no chance. Do you know how much these cost me to print? I can't just give them away. Oh, thanks, Tracy. Oh, there you are. You're supposed to be helping me in the laundry room. Oh, no, it's OK, Johnny. You and T have done more than enough today. I'll do it. No, we said we'd help and we will, T. You've seen the care assistant. Now read her book. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Helping you sell books for a small profit, of course. Yeah, thanks, but no thanks. Anyway, no one wants to buy them. I can barely give them away. And I've still got 2,000 copies back home. 2,000 books? Mm, nowhere to put them. You know what, Tracy? I think we can help you with that. Do the maths, Frank. Tracy's paying us £2 a week to look after some books. How long do you reckon it'll take for us to save up for a new TV? <laughs> oh, yeah. Ages, but don't worry, I've got something in mind. Bye. Hi. I didn't think you'd bring all the books. I didn't. These are just the ones from our kitchen. Now, you sure Mike's all right with this? Yeah! See, he isn't. We'll find a place for these. Somewhere. You find a place to sash him, I'll keep Mike busy, all right? Wait, no, Mike can see it this way. Else's jobs again today, see? Wish you'd tell me why. Johnny T, 
tell her why. Shut up. It's the files, isn't it? If we have good ones, we'll get fostered quicker. Is that why you've been doing all this? Guys, being fostered isn't based on how many gold stars are in your files. See, I told you. Yeah, but if we're good, I mean, like, really good, someone will like us. It doesn't work like that. Trust me, I was naughty all the time and I ended up with a wicked foster mum. That's wicked in a good way. Johnny, listen to Tracy. She actually works here and she knows what she's talking about. So, how long did it take you to get a foster mum and dad? Tracy's just got a mum. I read it in your book. Took about three years. What? Three years? OK, so it was a long time, but that's just the way things worked out. Yeah, probably because you were always in trouble. Well, I wasn't always in trouble. He wrote a book about it. Thanks, Tracy, but I think we're going to keep on doing our jobs and getting our stars. Haven't you listened to anything I just said? We don't show foster parents your blue files. They will never see your stars. I'm still doing things my way, OK? Fine. Be a work slave for everyone. Just don't force your sister to be one as well. T will do what I say, when I say! Um, Tracy, you, um, you won't write this in my file, will you? You want to sell stuff fast? There's only one place to go. The internet. Here you go. Curious farm books, signed first edition, responded. First editions. Toby, what are first editions? First editions are the books that were printed first, the first batch. So Tracy's books, they're first edition? I suppose so. Hmm. T, hold on, hold on, wait. You don't have to do that. Or what Johnny says all the time. He's just trying to do what's best for me. <sighs> what he thinks is best. Like I said, doing everyone's jobs, it's pointless. Well, he doesn't think so. <sighs> Look, what if I said you didn't have to do extra jobs and I'd still give you extra gold stars? Think about it. That way you could do whatever you want. And Johnny would be happy with a star studded file. But then the jobs wouldn't get done. <sighs> Let me worry about that. So, what do you say? You don't have to be scared of Johnny, you know. I'm not scared of him. Is that what you think? Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you two want? Your yeah, uh, in your book. You sign a few copies without giving them away easier. <laughs> and why would I want to do that? Oh. We'll give away a few free copies, we'll get spare. Before you know, you're number one selling author. Oh, boys. You'd really do that for me? Yeah. Thanks. Dear Liam and Frank, do you really think I'd sign my books so you can sell them behind my back? Love, Tracy. That's no way to treat your fans, you know! T, I'm only trying to help. You can do the things you like when you like. Yeah, I know. Then why don't you do it? I can't explain. <sighs> this is your room. You don't have to tidy it just because Johnny says so. You can do whatever you want in here. Can I do then? Anything you like. Look. Forget it. That website, all the websites, you have to be 18 to use them. And yes, here we are. They were postcodes, bank account details, credit card numbers. They've thought of everything just to stop us using their stupid system. So, what do we do? I just wanted something of my own for once, you know. Cool. I'll get that for you. Yeah, when you're 18. I'm gonna get a drink. Hold we'll on. You shouldn't climb it, T. Yeah, you shouldn't climb it, T. I can do whatever I like now. Tracy said. 
You don't think I can do it, do you? Look, we'll stand back and prepare to be a mate. T! T, stop! You listen to me. Why? You don't know anything. You don't know how the files work. You couldn't stop them from sending us here, could you? Get away from that well, tree. you never do anything fun, so I never get to do anything fun. There's nothing fun about copying Tracy Beaker. Do not climb that tree. I mean it. Oh, get off me! Get off! Leave me alone. Stop it. I hate you. You're, you're weird. I hate that you're my brother. Go to bed last night, Frank. And Johnny, where's tea? How should I know? I'm just a boy. Right, you lot. After yesterday's events, I've decided there'll be no more trading, exchanging, or swapping chores. You can all do your own job. Someone's not happy. What's the point of tidying up if we don't get reward? Because Liam, if this place turns into a tip, then things are gonna start to go missing. Like the TV remote. Oh, 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 Clean as much as you like, but this is your home, so you better start treating it like one, okay? Go on. <laughs> Go! Stop it. Stop it. You, you're hurting the plant, man. I apologise. You tried to warn me about tea, but I, I just ignore you. Gina, it's... It's OK. I'll sort things out, I promise. What? what what's going on? Toby, have you seen tea anywhere? In the garden. Thanks. Do some work. <gasps> look, Tracy, look how high I've got. No! That tree is it's dangerous. But I'm doing what you did, just like you told me. Not this! You're not allowed! But you did it. It's quiet. Where is everyone? Mm, T. Taylor was being rude, so Tracy's gone to sort her out. I expect the others are watching to see if she gets in trouble. Who? Oh, T or Tracy? <laughs> T, please come down! Really deep down, you don't want to be up there, do you? Well, it is high, but I have to prove that I'm not just Johnny's little sister. That I don't always do what he tells me to. Yeah, well, you've done that now, so please come down. T, get down from there! Yeah, T, come on, get down from there! Tracy? I don't think I can. Hey! No! Get off me! Let me go! No, it's dangerous! 
for us. We'll call the fire brigade. Toby, go and get help. I say let go! Totally frank. A boy's story about care homes and other stuff. So this is why you're tired. Fake book signing. Pretty good idea. What happens when they open the cover and realise it's Chase's picture underneath? Or perhaps read the first sentence and realise it's nothing to do with his Frank kid at all. Why didn't you tell me? I could have helped you. It was a surprise to see you. You've done all this for me? So how many have you sold so far? Um, and... <laughs> Frank, Liam, quick! Tea's in trouble! T, listen to me. Just grab my hand. What's happening? T, grab my hand. You have to. I'm slipping. That's so cool, I want to do that. Get away from her. My sister could have been killed. Back off, Johnny. Tracy didn't make T climb the tree. Yes, she did. Ask her. She caused all of this. Because she's a stupid, interfering, big-headed idiot who'll never be good at anything. Writing books, working here, anything. T, are you OK? Your shift's over. Try to just go home and never come back. I was only trying to help T. And Johnny, for that matter. But I know I can never work at the home again after today. Please give all the children my love. I'll miss them. Yours sorrily, Tracy Beaker. Tracy. I wanted to give you this. I know you've probably already Hey, made it. well done with T. Taylor. Hmm? She was a terror. Today she's as right as rain. What did you say to her? No, oh, well, be modest then. <laughs> oh, T and Johnny would like a word with you. I expect they want to apologise properly, you know. A word with me? Mm hmm. Yeah, they're in the laundry. Tracy. Did you forget something? The, the letter? It's from me, isn't it? No, it's not for you. Well, it is. It's... It's junk mail. I'll go put it in the bin for you. Bye. We wanted to say sorry for yesterday. Yeah, I shouldn't have climbed that tree. And I shouldn't have made T do all those jobs. She's old enough to make her own decisions. Then why do you make them feel better? More normal. Normal? You see, at home, we had to make sure we kept everything clean and tidy. Or Mum's boyfriend would get mad. How mad? Mad. Mad. Especially with Johnny. Guys, you're not at home anymore. It's OK. I know, it just, it just calms me down, OK? Yeah, I might help him. Only when she wants to now. Well, if you want to keep working, fine. But the others are going to have to do their fair share too. Not today. We said we'd do their jobs for them. In exchange for them not telling Mike about the tree. Will you tell him? Put it in our files? 
Not about the tree, no. As long as you promise not to climb it again. But yours is a different file, Johnny. It's not there to punish you or praise you, it's there to help you. Which is why I've got to write about how you get angry. How get angry? How could you...? It's not... It's not angry, I just... I just get frustrated. Well, whatever it is, we can help you. Get someone to talk to you about it. But we have to log it in the file so they know what's happening. You do want to sort it out, don't you, Johnny? So you and T can be happy? In the meantime, I'm going to talk to the Lazy Brigade. Get them to help. Otherwise, I'm taking the plug off the telly. Tracy, I, um, I didn't mean what I said yesterday. I think you're really good at working here. Tracy. You are in serious trouble. Then I get the call from Cam. Could I store any more books? There's only a few. It can't do any harm. Tracy, we do not use the children's rooms as our own personal storerooms. <laughs> Told you there was only a few. Where are my books? Tracy, before you do anything, I really liked your book. Oh, forget it. Lying won't save you. No, honest, I really read it about how you had nothing but what you did have was your mates. It really made me realise what I have. Wow, you really liked it. So where are they then? I can explain. Where may I see it? Tracy, is, um, is it a good time to mention that you owe us £2? 